And we are back, people, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. Finally, in the last minute, I found a phone that I could borrow from a gentleman up here on the street who has the hotel here. I put out a Facebook post that I need to borrow a phone. Nobody answered. My phone need to change the whole screen, so uh, it's going to take a week. It's Friday, so all the weekend is not going to be done. So a whole week without phone. But I'm a very stubborn man, and I'm going to release one video every damn day. That's just the way it is. At least the sound is good. I know this camera is good. This is an iPhone 15 or something. So today, and I'm going to see if it's possible to borrow this phone a little, an hour or two over the weekend also. Then we see. But I'm up for it. Challenges, what to do. This is my challenge video every day. And today it's day 85 of sobriety. We're closing in on three months, which is amazing. I think that's just wonderful. And you guys been with me for a long time, many of you. It's just insane. So back to the story. I'm in Norway, just paid off most of my debt. I have around $10,000, little more. Plus it's coming in little more money, more money than I ever had. And of course, I'm an addict, so my brain, oh, I take the plane from Oslo to Amsterdam, spend three days there, and then a flight from Amsterdam to Sri Lanka. And um, I've been in Amsterdam many times. First time I hitchhiked there, so I, I know this town pretty well. So I just pick up my things and packing and doing all this and I leave Norway for Amsterdam. And I have the intention of, yes, now I did this. I paid off most of my money, a little debt, and I'm just going to celebrate that I'm going to go to Sri Lanka and search for my family. But. The addiction, of course, takes over. The first thing I do when I come to hotel, same hotel I always live at. I'm not going to mention the name. Mention the name because that's not so good, maybe. <clears throat> I order two grams of cocaine. And the problem with, even if my intention is to go out and party and having a good time and so on, central stimulants like cocaine, Ritalin, speed, amphetamine, all of this is so connected to sex for me. And I'm in Amsterdam, so in my mind, oh, I go and um, meet somebody, go party, and then I can have lots of sex and so on. But I ended up three days in my hotel room watching porn and got super paranoid and thought people watching into the windows and everything. Total, total disaster and it is not the first time this happened but in Amsterdam and you're going there for you're going to celebrate that you had done a good work and going to Sri Lanka to celebrate or oh, find your family and here I end up watching porn for three days in a quite expensive hotel room so I'm leaving to the airport filled with shame and guilt and disappointment and just feeling like a shit like just i don't know i just really feel like shit it's always good intention with me when i'm taking drugs but they always end up in the same way but of course, chasing the dragon, but you never reach it in that way. So I feeling like shit, ending up on the airport, checking in and doing all this. And I have this, it's a very heavy, heavy 
shame and guilt and disappointment like it feels like I'm wearing a armor of 100 kilos and I sit down in my seat in the plane and this guy shows up and sit down his, his seat of course and he looked at me and he just put his hand on me <laughs> he said it's gonna be fine Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to just be fine. Don't worry. It's going to... He, he, and the thing was, like, I never met this dude before. I never talked with him before. I never seen him before, anything. But his touch and his words, it was like a shower. Just a shower. And all the guilt all the shame, all the weird f beating on myself just disappeared. I was filled with a good spirit. I f felt like some energy come back. And we had this beautiful conversation and connected like... It is just, I, I, I can't thank him enough. Because that was exactly what I needed at that point. And it was, I felt disgusted of myself. Like really, really bad, bad, more bad than I, I don't know, felt in a long time. I think we f took the flight from Amsterdam somewhere in Germany. If it was Hamburg or München or Munich or... or somewhere and we meet this brazilian woman who served us in the bar or something like that and we had a really good interaction with her and so on and then we left i went on my plane he went on he, uh, he went to Indo indonesia and i went to sri lanka but i was such a I don't know what to say, like that, that connection and what he did for me in that moment was just over the top, like, like it was just what I needed. And then I f really could start feeling that I was on this adventure of finding my family. And this, uh, yeah, I, I, I can't thank you enough. We still have contact. We wrote to each other. Uh, uh, yesterday congrats on your sobriety I'm proud of you brother really proud of you it means a lot to hear you also sober that's just amazing and we both was now I know we both was on this journey he wanted to change his life and come away from his old life and I was on my way to doing something else Isn't it crazy that two people just meet like that and it just, it makes me emotional, it really does, because what he did for me, he, I don't think he even understood what he did for me at that moment. He knows now, that's for sure. But yeah, congratulations on your sobriety. I'm so proud of you, brother. We got this, that's for sure. So. I take the flight to Sri Lanka. I go to the same hotel, Montlavinia Hotel. And remember these two gentlemen I met when I was there in 2007. I go down to the beach and just praying, I hope they are there. When I enter the beach, and it's maybe 100 meters or 150 meters, I see two hands just waving at me like this. And I go there and they say hey we was thinking about you three days ago are you if if, if martin gonna come back or if he giving up on this with uh, finding his family and here you are and i just what and they yeah, yeah yeah we've been talking about you do you have your adoptions paper yes i have and they said okay you're going to rest, you're going to eat, you're going to do this. 
tomorrow we start the journey of finding your family. So I stop there. And tomorrow we go for the next part. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to listen to Tom. And I never heard this track. And the track is Names. There's lots of names going around about people. So let's see what this is. So here is Tom McDonald with Names. They gon' try to call you names Label you with things till you're ashamed You're a sexist or a racist White supremacist or gay They'll attack your reputation Claim that you're the one to blame And try to make you hate yourself For ways that you behave They're just names Embrace them and they'll never cause you pain They're just words That another person thought up in their brain They're just names They do not define you That's insane And they'll just call you something different If you change Call me racist I don't make no BLM donations I can stand with black folks Without a branded corporation All this systemic Prejudice, if you live in this nation, you privileged, black or Caucasian Call me transphobic, but I support you in your policies I just can't ignore the very basics of biology All I see is men and women trying to live in harmony Not a hundred genders that you wanna be Call me snowflake, cause I'm offended, I ain't stone-faced Social justice warriors destroying us with woke ways Mad because they voted for the POTUS with the most hate <laughs> Man, I miss the old days Call me loser, call me bigot, call me stupid, call me bitter Call me ugly, call me cracker, call me doucher, call me trigger You can call me what you want, cause at the end of the day Man, they're just names Go ahead and call us names, dog. do your thing We ain't tripping cause we heard it all before Give a damn about the names, dog. we feel no pain Your words ain't gonna hurt us anymore Go ahead and call us names, dog. do your thing Y'all ain't tripping but I hope you find the Lord Give a damn about the names They gon' try to call you names Label you with things till you're ashamed Repeat it till you really start believing what they say They gon' stamp it on your forehead and scream it till you break They love to say they woke, they not awake They're just names Afraid of anyone who ain't the same So they classify your thoughts as controversial, not okay Then they cancel you till everything you have all gets erased They tryna tell the world you bad, they're just names Call me conservative or liberal, Republican or Democrat I'm somewhere in the middle, but y'all don't know what to do with that The system got you so obsessed with classifying right or left You never call a person human, call them names instead Call me sexist, men run the world cause they're aggressive But behind every man there's a woman just as successful We will never be equal in every way that ain't helpful Our differences are why we're great together Call me white devil, I know you think the system favors me My privilege is residual benefits from the slavery Subconscious prejudice embedded in the system made for me Don't mean I never struggled to survive, I guess we ain't agree Ignorant and jaded, call me dumb, uneducated Call me idiot or redneck or delusional or crazy Call me anything society has taught you to say Cause at the end of the day, they're just names Go ahead and call us names, dog. do your thing We ain't tripping cause we heard it all before Give a damn about the names, dog. we I didn't know it was about these things, but I'm sorry, I have to, my, they, they shooting this um, fireworks and my dogs get so scared about it, so she just shaking her now, but I think she's alright. This with names, 
So growing up in Sweden in the 80s and the 90s, uh, when it was not so many immigrants at all, at least n nobody with really dark skin. And I got called the most, I don't think it's a word I haven't heard about my skin color or whatever, things like that. But what it's a, I don't care about words. Really, say whatever you want to me. It just like doesn't affect me at all. But the n problem with that for me, I don't know if it's the same with other people, that <clears throat> I learned this is just words, but I didn't understand that for other people, words means a lot. So... When I get angry, I can be very brutal because I think that people can handle words like I handle words. For me, it's action the really problem when somebody hurts me, not with words, but with action. But other people seem to, to, to get really, like, not, I don't know, offended, but they get sad and they get... Yeah, it, it, I hurt them with words, and I really didn't understand that before this last uh, relationship I had, that I was really mean with words, but for me it's just words, and I have been thinking that people just can take that as I take words. I don't give a shit, it's just words. But I really learned this last relationship, oh shit, I need to really, I can't tell people things like that. That's really mean and they get hurt from it. But I really didn't understand that before. And that's the negative side we'd be able to, yes, yeah, 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 say what you want. I don't give up anything about, you, you, you can't tell me something about myself that somebody else did before when I growing up. So that was a hard lesson to understand that is what I've been thinking as, oh, it's a strange, I don't get so affected by words. But what it did is I lost the knowledge or understanding that words really hurt other people. So, yeah, but it's still just words until people allow them to be more than words. But that's not easy. I don't say you need to be <laughs> fucking bombarded with, uh, with, with, with evil and mean words to understand, to just let it go. And everybody hasn't been that. So, yeah. Sorry to you guys. I've been mean to not. I didn't know better. Okay, guys. That was day 85, and we arrived to Sri Lanka. I met with Patrick and Rajas on the beach. And tomorrow, we start the searching of my family in Sri Lanka. I have two families, one Swedish and one Sri Lankan, but my Sri Lankan family. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for much, so much for supporting my sobriety journey. Stay strong, stay safe, and always, always feel and stay blessed. Peace out.